I have not come off the road. As a matter of fact, you can see the rain today. And not even the rain will deter us from doing what we need to do. I am not deterred. This seat knows me. They know what I'm capable of. They know I am the worker in here. No one can add up to the amount of work that I have done in here. You are up against what people say one of the toughest, being the wife of the Prime Minister. What's your chances of lifting the seat from her? The chances of that people in this constituency know. They know the type of service that I do. May you be GLP, may you be PNP. Ask them. They will tell you they have never seen a harder working candidate. Yes, she's a former debit candidate, but only with money. You will see every light post. These Back and front, full of pictures. Frankly speaking, I would never use my money to do all of that. Waste of money. I prefer to take my money and feed the over 500 people that I feed every Friday, elderly and indigent, which I've been doing for over a year. I have stopped it since the election is called because as you know we are not supposed to be doing any such thing during the season i am not one of those persons who believe in dangling a carrot in front of you because all you are doing is you know getting to the point where they, you're not giving them their self-respect when the People's National Party was in government, we were getting $14,000 and $15,000 a box for our coffee. It is now gone down to $2,500. And you ask the Member of Parliament, what is her solution? She gets out of order, two bags of fertilizer and one machete. Like she's taking it to the slaves. But not in that. These people are a proud people. Very proud. They don't want no handout. They are workers. They've always been like that. And I personally will not dignify that sort of behavior. In 1980, when you won, you were perhaps was the youngest female candidate ever to win in Jamaica. Absolutely. The so first you're... candidate to go into parliament at that age. Right. Um, and they can tell you, mm -hmm. during that term, I built schools, I built bridges, I did roads. I hear a now candidate talking about her performance. Yes, this road was asphalted. They may and Crawford had just finished asphalting it, but it was re-asphalted. And I see all over on Facebook, that she has built this road and that road. And when you drive the road, some corners have been done. Yes, I will give her credit for doing three roads. But that's her job. That's her job. Let us look at East Rural. Go ahead. Tell us about Most East Rural. of East Rural within the hills, it's a farming community. Coffee is what you call a residual crop. It keeps coming back every year. You have to clean it, you have to clear it. Now, with $2,500 a box, you can't pay people to come and help you clean it. $2,500 a box. When you pay a someone to pick your coffee at $1,500, you end up with what? $1,000. Are you able to buy manure? Are you able to buy fertilizer? Are you able to make anything out of it? No. And so a number of the farmers have had to walk off these lands because they cannot support what they need to do. I am saying, where is the work of the members of parliament? What has she done for the farmers of East Rural St. Andrew? She came the other day and she brought a sampling of strawberries. 
I have planted strawberries. Mm -hmm. I am a farmer myself. I wonder if anybody knows what goes into strawberries. If you read the internet or anything else, it tells you that strawberry is a nasty scrub. Because it takes in every fertilizer that you put out there. She believes in sample. Ask her how many of those farmers are still growing the strawberry. Mm -hmm. That she brought in two years ago and run to them be to show as though she was doing something. It cannot work. We need somebody that is diligent, ready to work, and continues to work. We don't need somebody who drops in every now and again. She's a member of parliament. She spends all her time outside of the constituency constructing. When I speak and ask the people up there, you know, she wants to become a land baron. And we are starting to take away the people's lands where she is. Putting out that, um, you know, X amount of units on these lands. Half of the land don't belong to her. Just like Darrell Vaz, who wants to take away Hollywood land. And ask the people in this area, how many pieces of land they were planting coffee on? That has now been taken in by persons from outside of the area. Mm -hmm. These lands were not offered to them as the first persons who are already farming the land. We don't need somebody to deal with our farmers as though they are second class citizens. Your base is, is, um, is out by um, Arborview, correct? That's where your base is. I am based everywhere in East Royal St. Andrew. But I mean, in terms of your the, the, the base vote that you will be getting out is in that section. What are you doing in other areas such as these to pull out the votes? We have our organization in place. And we are going to get out the votes. People who, I mean, I didn't even know want to be involved are calling. I am prepared to help. How can I help? This morning when we got here, we had a couple of doctors and their friends walking, join us. They want to come and help because they know that my heart is with this country. They know the work I have done and will continue to do when we do. This constituency is essentially a farming and tourism constituents. We have so many um, food products that we can do in small areas to process food, to freeze, so that when things are out of season, we do. When I was here first, I started to work on a zip line from Sincona Garden all one of its kind in the world to bring a zip line from in the hills of Prince Andrew into Gordon Town, making coffee shops on the way. We have many areas where we can go walking, hiking, jogging. That is the rural. And we must understand that we don't need to be on the asphalt. Coffee was once upon a time the highest foreign exchange earner in the world. And this government has brought it to its knees. To its knees. And the Minister of Agriculture has no say. He doesn't have a clue. And the MP does not have a clue. Do you feel confident from September 3rd of taking the seat? Very confident. We have to have a view of here that needs some help. One of the things that I've been she working on. She's not anything out there? Nothing. As a matter of fact, she asphalted a road only to find out that it was in Philip Hallwell area. She don't even know the, 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 the lines of the constituency. She has put up her picture 
on the other side over to the airport. She, maybe she don't realize I know her seat in Philip Caldwell area. Why? She spends no time knowing the people are working with it. Ask the people in here. Does she come to the graduation of the people? Does she know what's happening to the children? Does she come to their nine or does she come to their grave digging? Does she come to their funerals? No, she not no time to them. No time whatsoever. We have a problem during COVID. All the doctors were moved out of the commune, out of the health centers in Madison and in Dallas. Rendering the area without medical help for the elderly and anyone else who really needs care. What do you say to that? During COVID, the entire hills are without any education because they don't have Wi Fi, they can't afford the data. How do the kids? live and continue to learn and what of their children we are keeping our farmers children without education ask her if she has revived or worked on one single playing field community center since she's here not even one she no business idea. But since the election, she's here every day. Food packages are going to everybody. Government food packages to everybody. I'm not here about handout. I'm here about a handout. And that's what I will do when I become the next member of parliament for East Coast. I love the people and they love me.